Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how you can make a paintbrush using leaves. So here I have collected my leaves. I'd say I have about 10. I have a string, my scissors, and a stick. Now the stick is really long, so we can break it if we want a shorter paintbrush. So first things first, I'm going to take my leaves and I'm going to split them roughly in half. So since I have 10, I'll have about 5 and 5. I'm going to hold my leaves like so and put the stick on top of them. Now you want to keep your cluster pretty tight so no leaves escape. Then you want to put some more leaves on top like a sandwich. Once it kind of looks like its own little tree, we can take our string and tie it around. Now I'm going to wrap it a few times so that my leaves are nice and secure. So. I'm going around once, twice, three times, tie it around the back a few times, and then I'm going to tie it in a knot, just like tying my shoelaces. There we go. And from here you can either tie it in a bow or you can tie it in a knot. I'm going to tie it in a knot just so it doesn't distract me while I'm painting. There we go pretty secure. You can also see I have a little bit of stick sticking out. <laughs> so I'm going to move my leaves a little bit to cover it. And you can also move your string to do that. And you can also add more or less leaves. I decided to use um, dandelion leaves, but you can pick any type of leaf. Um, if they have stems, that would work. I wanted these because these are kind of pointy. And then I cut off my string. There we go. Now I'll show you what it looks like when I paint with this. Dip it in my natural ink. Do, do, do. And it doesn't soak up the color as well as a paintbrush, but it does create some really cool textures in your paintings. Like that. So it's really big, the one I'm working with. If you want it to be smaller, you can use smaller leaves. Or what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut up the leaves a little bit so I can get finer lines. Now using my scissors, I'm going to cut away at my leaves so that I get the type of brush that I want. Notice that I'm cutting away from myself to avoid snipping at my fingers. Alright, now that I have the point that I want on my brush, let's see how it looks. Another thing I can do is I can twist the end of it sort of like how you'd twist a paintbrush in water to make it a smaller tip. All right, and now that I have the paintbrush that I want, let's try it out. All right, great. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.